I feel like typically, yeah, unless you're young and get up in a situation like that where you have this superiority complex and it's like, oh, I'm bigger. Mine's bigger than yours, you know? <laughs> right? Like, it's, it's, uh, size does matter. Yeah. Right. You're sitting there like, <laughs> oh, like, like you're just going to talk down at everyone who flies something smaller than what you fly. Right. It's like, oh, you're like on the 767. Like, well, I fly a 747. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like you fly something tiny. I fly a wide body too, but it's not as big as my wide yeah. body. But I mean, it's just, it's, it, it, but I feel like by the time you even have the seniority to make it to captain and actually have a decent schedule at that point, it, it, the plane doesn't matter anymore. It's all it's, about lifestyle. It's, it's literally all about lifestyle. It's like, oh, I want to go to Greece and I want to have like a 38 hour overnight or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. something, something ridiculous like that. I feel like that's what matters. So, so you're saying people should maybe not make the specific type of metal the airplane as important that doesn't as matter might. correct got it i feel like that's something like i said as an instructor you care about that stuff like i want to fly this plane i think it'd be so cool whatever doesn't it matter. is it doesn't matter now i am skeptical about spending my entire career in like a 737 that's so southwest is not like for you yeah but the problem is they have an orlando base i love southwest so yeah dude, but the thing is like dude don't be 737 is just don't Look, be shocked if I end up at Southwest. Yeah, Southwest is great. I mean, I, I have no problems with them, and honestly, they're in the consideration, right? But, like, I guess, okay, so I guess it's not just one consideration. There's bases, there's the metal, kind of. Not all, not not because it's like, I want to fly this, want to fly that, right? Okay, uh, Airbuses are just more comfortable than Boeing's. Right. It, it just, it's what it is. 100%. Right? You have a side stick, you have nothing between your legs, you literally, you just sit there, you have a tray, you can eat, you can put your feet up on a, on a footrest. There's all sorts of stuff there that's comfortable in the plane, it is a plane you can retire in. Right. There's so much space in there you would have no problem staying in there. If I years, if yeah. I if I if I spend 45 years not 45 years, if I spend 30 years in a tight cockpit and that's all I've ever flown, it's like man. And I you're never, tall. Yeah. Right. What are you six one? Yeah, six one. Dude. And so like that's you know that's uh, that's important I guess, but base is huge though, yeah. because and the reason why I say base I don't even care about work rules anymore. Work rules. That's all going to come around. Everyone's going to be so short here in the next five years that everyone's contract will be as good as everyone's contract. The pay, who cares? Okay. The pay doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's say you're going to make like $500,000 a year doing UPS, Delta, FedEx, if you get wide body captain. That's a long time down the line. You have so much money to be made at any airline as a captain, like whenever you get upgraded. Like now, it doesn't even matter. Work rules, like I said, you're going to, you might even go somewhere that's horrible work rules right now, but I guarantee you they're going to have a pilot shortage issue. There's two things that are going to happen. Either they're going to go under because they can't find pilots or they're going to change their contract to find pilots. And it's typically the latter, right? So it's just location. Yeah. Location. And then is your lifelong goal to have these, like when your kids leave the house, if you have kids or whatever, when kids leave the house, is your lifelong goal to spend these, you know, couple nights a month in Europe and get paid to do it? If that's what you want too, then obviously you need to pick an airline with planes that are going to have that. Not because you specifically want to fly an A350 or an A330 or whatever it is, right? But because of where the plane goes. That's the lifestyle that you want. Yeah, if that's what you want. So it's like, it's like, okay, do you care for doing that stuff? If you don't care for doing that stuff, then fly, then then pick somewhere that has a base that's nearby you, and that doesn't matter. Now, of course, if you're trying to do that stuff eventually later on, you're you're limited to the airlines you can do. You're not you're not gonna you're not gonna end up with these crazy overnights flying for Southwest. Right. Right. Now you might go to you're gonna go to Cancun, all that stuff, whatever. But going to if it's Southwest, you're not gonna end up going across the pond. But Southwest, I've heard great company to work for. Yeah. Right. Awesome company to work for. 